Hey, hi, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites. Folks, I am so glad to be back here with more Cuisineer, the cozy action roguelite restaurant management simulation. That is a full mouth of words. But I'll tell you what, they all come together very nicely. This has been a fun little game to play. I'm having a good time with it still, and I want to continue showing this one off. So, what we have here is the randomly generated overworld. At least one of multiple zones that are going to open up for us over time. And what I want to do with this run specifically is to grab all kinds of awesome ingredients because we're going to need them now having additional cooking options. Now, this is the third video that I've done on the game and if you've been keeping up, you know that we've done some things to expand upon the kitchen, but in the meantime, I've been trying to learn a little bit more about the game, and I have been doing an okay job of that so far. What I realized that we were missing was some of the different cooking vessels, and so I am happy to say that by working with one of the vendors, I have procured both a frying pan and a proper oven. I've also completed some of the quests that the villagers have given us, and that has led to the discovery of some new recipes. And some of these dishes that we're making pay quite a bit of money, so that's exciting as well. I feel like I've learned a lot more about the game in a short period of time by just kind of digging in a little bit more. You saw the kitchen too, and the dining area, it's expanded a little bit. Ooh, some sweet sap. That's uh, it's probably going to be used in something interesting. Oop, don't do that. So we've got the oven, we've got the frying pan, we've got new recipes. And so now we just got to get out here and get some juicy ingredients so that we can have a great day at the restaurant. You might have also noticed that on our dash, we're leaving both ice and poison occasionally that proc. And that's due to some new gear that I've picked up. We also upgraded the spatula, where it now leaves a trail of flame on its final smash. That's quite effective. We're becoming powerful, folks. And it feels great. So that's the plan today. Get some great materials. We've also, see, there's a lot going on. I've added another row. We upgraded the backpack. One of the challenges I was running into was just filling the backpack too quickly in expeditions. And so now that extra space really comes in handy. We want to take that dude down along with these guys. Some of these enemies can be a little bit of a nuisance. I'm not gonna lie to you, but they're valuable. Now let's jam that guy up with some plates. If this is your first time seeing the game, basically what's happened here is we're playing as a character that uh, was given a restaurant to manage by her parents that have retired and have decided to go on a, well, a lofty vacation that they've earned by working very hard. But you know what, you know what else they did? They left us with a big shitty mess because they sold a lot of the stuff in the restaurant, you know, like tables and chairs and all the essentials that you would need so that they could pay for this trip. 
then I got things running again. You know, we opened up the restaurant successfully. And then you know who showed up? The tax man. We owe 2000 to the tax man. So we're slowly paying him off as well. Now, if we die in the overworld here, uh, we lose half of our belongings, and we don't want that to happen. Occasionally, there is an area that you can find that allows you to drink from a well, and that'll give you half of your health back. Let's just see here. What we want to try and do is uncover the majority of the map. I've found it in this second part of the zone before, so I'm hoping it'll show up again. All right. Uh, let's come up here. Let's slam those guys with the frying pan before we come over. All right, where do we need to go? A little bit more over there, perhaps. I don't want to get too close to those spikes. But you can spike the enemies. They're just not on them enough yet. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. We need to come down here, maybe? Does it go over in that direction? No. All right, what am I missing? Did I pass right by a stairwell? Oh, I bet it goes up over here. Yep, there we go. So we're just gonna hop, skip across. No big deal. Now, I will tell you, I do not normally play games that involve cooking. Games like Overcooked, they're just, they're not my thing. But I like how this game approaches the cooking and restaurant management piece. It's a little bit lower overhead, a little bit less taxing than an overcooked, and you'll see what I mean when we get to that point. Now, it might be a little bit too easy for some of you uh, that prefer more of an overcooked style, and I totally get that. But if you're like me, this might be a nice gateway drug into the cooking type games of the world. I mean, there are lots of them out there. You know, the game, when I saw it initially, kind of reminded me of Moonlighter, and that's a great thing, because that's that's one of my favorite games. So I thought, hey, let's give this a try. This looks like it will be a good time, and it turned out so far, it, it is. It's like we breathed in a little bit of our own poison there. That's not great. All right. Well, it appears that we must go this way. Or not. Ah, okay. So we had Thanksgiving Part 2, and... I gotta tell you folks, it was it was just tremendous. I ate quite a bit again. Boy, we've gotta be careful here. We really need that source of health to open up. Don't wanna lose what we've gotten so far. Ooh, 
some exotic fruit. That doesn't show up a whole lot. So I'm happy to see that. Okay. Let's keep going a little bit here. I'm still not seeing that fountain that we can drink from. Oh, there, there, that might be it. Wait, no. Wait, maybe it is. It looks like it, but I'm not sure how we would get over there. And I swear that's it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for it. Come on, one time. Oh! All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again, because we, we did get over there, technically. I should take those guys out first, though. That guy went down fast. Alright, wonderful. Can I break the... Oh, jeez. Alright. Got a big guy here. Those are definitely more exotic looking materials. So I want to make room for those. Let's dump flour. She can get that quite often. And these guys are now coming up on us a little bit here. Okay. Let's get this guy. Perfect. And now I want to grab this cheese because I don't see that a whole lot either. Just trying to decide what to get rid of. I've got a lot of stone at this point. And I still want to see if we can grab that because I'm almost certain that is the source of health that we can drink from. Okay. So I was wrong on that, which happens. And given a, the health situation, we're going to go ahead and make a break for it. And this is where we'll go back and run the restaurant. And hopefully see the new frying pan and oven in action. Because I just installed those the other day. I know, the kitchen is looking a little bit tight. But I've got a plan for that because soon... Alright, we're out of time today. That's okay. That's okay. Change of plans. It's all right. Wouldn't be the first time. The day and night cycle can go pretty fast if you stay out there for a while. You know what? Actually, let's make a quick deposit into the upgraded fridge, I might add. A lot more space in there. It's great to see. Okay. Folks. I think we are going to have an excellent time running things tomorrow. All right, let's adjourn. Let's say cheers to you. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching. I hope you've got something good in your cup today. I'm drinking a dark roast with a nice splash of oat milk just to add to the creaminess, a little bit of oat flavor. It's tremendous. Cheers to you. And if you're having a good time and you're enjoying yourself, others might also enjoy this video and you can help distribute it across the YouTubes by hitting that like button. Now I looked into things a little bit and it turns out that the nobles, ooh, roast chicken, okay. Already seeing some new dishes pop out. The nobles like it if you deliver their dish to them. Everybody else is willing to just get up there and get it themselves. And from what I understand so far, the nobles are dressed a little bit more nicely like this one. This is a noble. I'm excited to see how this all goes. So now we've got fried beef. And this is another dish that I have not been able to make before. 
This is going super well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring this one to the noble. Grilled beef. Okay, another new item. And this is cool too, because now we'll be able to make multiple dishes at once coming out of all these different vessels. You'll see that I've added seating now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seats total. All right, where are we, where are we cooking at? Where are we cooking at? Right here. I'll look for those exclamation marks. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a very profitable day. We should have brought the meal over to that gal. Fried rice, another new dish that I haven't been able to make in the past because we didn't have the frying pan. Very cool. Somebody commented the other day about how they were enjoying the audio of the game. I think it was Joyous, one of our community members that wrote in about that, and I agree. I like the slurping sounds and the cooking noises. It's, uh, gives it an authentic feel, doesn't it? Fried pork, nice. A fantastic choice. And that is a noble, so we're gonna carry the dish. Wonderful. $47. Make you holla. We're gonna be coming into the lunch rush real quick here. Now we'll go ahead and bring the dish. Okay, now it's gonna get wild. We've got plenty of seats. I know, the noble already got up, I think. Is that a noble? Sometimes I, I have a hard time telling. These dishes are gonna be flying out, this is exciting. Watch them all start and come in an order together from the same vessel over and over and over again. Actually, right now, it looks like it's a pretty good distribution across all of them, which is great. Because sometimes they get a little bit testy about the speed of their food coming out, and if I've got multiple orders built up on the same cooking device, you know, you've got to wait and go one at a time. But I have to say, as I've expanded options in the restaurant, seating in the restaurant, this game has become more and more fun. Ooh, the tasty soup. That is a high-paying dish. Love to see it. Let's go ahead and deliver this one, too. Perfect. And that roti dish, that's another new one that just opened up recently from a quest that was completed. And we got the new recipe for doing that. I know, we just have a lot of stuff coming out. $96 on that order. I've never been able to break uh, bake bread before, so that's super cool. I've lost a lot of customers to bread requests. They just come in, stand at the door, and they're like, Oh, you got no bread? I'm not, I'll see you later. Wow, there is, there is a lot going on. We've got a long line of people waiting to pay. You love to see that. Let's go ahead and start the fried rice. Take the payments. You now, if you can remember last time, I mean, comparably, things are rocking and rolling. It's also the rush, but things are moving faster than they have in the past. I'll say that. It's great to see. No time to sip coffee, but cheers to you anyway. And I know, I'm not treating these nobles the way they like to be treated. It's hard to keep up with all of it. But that's okay. It looks like things are slowing down a little bit. We got through the rush. This is a... 
This is going to be a noble order. Melted cheese. I don't think we've done that one yet. Nice. We'll go ahead and bring that dish. Oh, you just sit right back down. We got it. We got it. Roast chicken. What does the melty cheese pay? Ooh, $99. Okay. Rock and roll. Doesn't that look like a mighty big meal for this person? I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it does. Maybe, maybe a little bit too much. The person may not feel too well walking out of here. Probably need a wheelbarrow to roll folks out when they, you know, when it goes poorly. Another melted cheese, great. You sit right down. We we got this. Relax. Let us do the cooking. We do have a lot of the pale meat that you use to make the roast chicken. So, happy to see that dish flying out over and over and over again. And I wonder if we should just keep cooking until dinner, I mean, with as good as this is going. Do that rush as well. When it slows down a little bit, it's easier to grab items and bring it to them. I don't know how else you develop over time. I do know that we will get the opportunity to actually expand out the restaurant and make it bigger. Uh, there were some gifts on the Steam page that I was able to take a look at where you can see the expansion options. I'm excited to get to that point. We also have numerous quests up here still, and all of these, fulfilling them, and all of them need different things, but by fulfilling them, you're seeing that we're gonna get all kinds of recipes to come, so it's, it's exciting. All right, let's keep going here. I think we ought to just get to the Dinner rush as well, with the fridge being as full as it is. One hand just washes the other. And we're coming into it at this point. Let's get that sip of coffee and cheers to you. Let's get some melted cheese going. All right, dinner rush, we're ready for it. Wonderful. And I don't think I've seen one patron walk in and walk out because we do not have the item that they'd like. Let's get that roti going. I like a good roti. Fried egg, another new item that was never able to do before. We've got some kind of achievement that just popped. Fried pork seems very popular. Oh, that is a noble. Let's bring it back to her. There you go. You ever go to a restaurant and just order a loaf of bread? You ever do that? Just sit there and chow down on a loaf? <laughs> yeah, me neither. All right. Oh, we are almost through the dinner rush here. Went fast. Love seeing that melted cheese order. Opa. If you know, you know.
Okay. Get that. Ooh, fried chicken. Wow. Okay. Love that. $90. Wonderful. Let's do another fried chicken. We've got another noble coming in. For a payment. Another achievement. I wonder what that is. I feel like that fried rice has been sitting up there for a minute. We'll probably get that order out. That's another thing you kind of have to keep track of. Hey, as long as you're willing to grab that one, I am willing to make it happen. We'll bring that to you. See your Walking with a cane there, happy to help. Okay. After she orders, we're gonna close up. She'll still have time to eat once it comes out. All right, we're gonna serve you. Okay, you know what, It's if it's fried chicken, I'm here for it. Let's, let's just, that's the last one. I have a tough time denying somebody their fried chicken. It's should be everybody's right to dine on fried chicken. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to close. That was an outstanding day. That's the best day I've ever had running the restaurant. 64 dishes. Wow. Okay. A ton of reputation. We leveled up there. It was a great success. Usually what that does for you is it opens up new items and new options for the restaurant via your builder buddy. I'm excited. That was really great. Hey folks, that's where we're going to cut this one. This is a game called Cuisineer, and it is a cozy action roguelite with restaurant management and it's fun some of the quality of life options could be better there are some loading screens that i wish weren't there as much when you go between rooms and occasionally i've seen frame drops i don't think it's on my side because i've got a really decent pc that this is running on but overall i like the game I like what it offers, and if you want to check this one out, I've got a link to it right in the video description. Go in there, check that out, and if you haven't yet, do me a favor. Leave a like on the video if you had a good time, or hit the thumbs up, whatever the kids are calling it these days. I'd appreciate you doing it. You take care out there. We'll see you again soon, where we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite, because, uh, well, that's what we do every time. And you know what else? We'll give away a video game at least once a week because we're going to do that a hundred times in 2023. You take care. We'll see you again soon.